With the iPhone 14 announcement, Apple has officially killed a feature that soon other companies could follow. The unboxing experience of the iPhone 14 lineup is about to get even special. After killing the headphone jack and the free charger in the box, this will be their most significant kill. Say goodbye to your SIM card slot. Yes, in case you missed this, the iPhone 14 series in the US will not come with a physical SIM tray. Instead, you'll have to rely on eSIM. What is eSIM? Well, eSIM is a SIM embedded inside the phone already, meaning you can't take it out like you can with a physical SIM card when you travel to a different country or when you want to switch carriers. With this move, now you'll be forced to use the carriers in your country and pay the international roaming bills. This is going to be such an inconvenience for so many people. Now, it does have a few advantages like without a physical SIM tray, the phone can have more space for a potential bigger battery. Plus, Apple says that it's going to make your phone even more secure because this sim cannot be physically removed so it's gonna be always inside the device while that is true it also means the opposite for people who want some privacy for whatever reason they won't be able to take the sim out hence they will always be trackable so currently there are a lot of opinions on this but most people are not happy with this change now luckily Apple has only done this to the US iPhone 14 models but it is a beginning of something that's going to happen globally eventually maybe next year with the iPhone 15 lineup and seeing how other companies they love to copy Apple Samsung could actually do something like this maybe just for the US market they very quickly adopted the removal of charger and headphones from the box so I really hope this time Samsung decides to not follow Apple and just stay clear of this move let me know what you think about this in the comment section below now speaking of Samsung they are continuing to go heavy on the trolling of Apple and the iPhone 14 series. Once again, calling out Apple for not having the innovation uh, with their folding devices, the Z Flip 4 and the Fold 4. It's a pretty solid, valid shot at Apple. And then they flex the 108 megapixels of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is a higher number than 48 megapixel on the iPhone 14 Pro. As for just pixel peeping, someone who has tested out a 200 megapixel sensor, I can say with confidence that it's actually going to be sharper, but it doesn't necessarily mean a better sensor overall. Considering how good the iPhone 13 Pro Max is when it comes to low light video against the Galaxy S22 Ultra, with the 14 Pro Max, the 2x better low light performance will be an even bigger jump. Apart from the megapixel part, I think all the other shots are pretty valid and spot on. Now, despite this trolling, Apple will probably not do foldable products anytime soon. We're gonna have to wait till 2025 or something. Until then, Samsung will keep innovating in this game, and they're definitely going to be a lone leader in this foldable world. I really hope they keep the physical SIM card slot but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.